In this uh, presentation, we will look at the uh, specification proposed for the second part of our compulsive coursework plan, which addresses the implementation of a um, digital music box. What I'm aiming at is the uh, implementation of a traditional music box, as you see here, in uh, our BASIS 3 board. Uh, if you think about it, there's a direct digital equivalent to most parts of uh, a traditional mechanical music box. Uh, for example, the uh, rotating drum is uh, equivalent to a memory of type ROM, where the uh, spikes can be represented as uh, those memory positions that have a one stored in there. So after watching this presentation, I hope that you will be able to uh, work from the representation of musical notes in the stuff and also to uh, be able to explain this functional specification in your own words to identify the main design tasks and uh, then of course to set up a plan for your uh, development work. For what we need to know uh, in relation to this assignment, uh, it is sufficient to be able to identify a musical note from its uh, representation in a staff. And uh, this slide shows the position of each note in a uh, staff starting with a treble clef and the corresponding frequencies for uh, octaves 4 and 5. Uh, Please notice that the uh, frequencies of the same musical notes uh, relate to each other as a power of two between successive digital, uh, successive octaves. For example, the uh, C in octave five is double the frequency of the uh, same note in octave four. So we are now able to represent the uh, sequence of uh, musical notes from the staff uh, for this example of uh, Beethoven's Ode to Joy. Uh, as you may have noticed in the previous slide, I'm using the upper case to represent notes in octave 4 and lower case to represent octave 5. Now, this is, of course, a very poor representation of uh, Beethoven's Ode to Joy, so uh, don't expect a stunning musical performance. Uh, the point here is that we have converted the uh, staff into a uh, sequence of upper and lower case letters, and their ASCII codes can now be stored in the FPGA memory. And here's an overview of uh, what you are being asked to develop in this assignment. Uh, notice that you will need a buzzer to generate the musical notes. And uh, once the sequence of uh, ASCII codes received through the serial port have been uh, stored in the FPGA memory, you will just have to press the play button to hear the, uh, to listen to the melody. Uh, the cable for the uh, RS-232 communication, as you know, is the same as for powering up the board and uh, for programming the FPGA. And for the uh, terminal emulator application to send the ASCII codes, uh, you can use the trial version of HyperTerminal or you can use PuTTY, which is uh, entirely free. Now, we can uh, simplify our work in two ways. And, uh, the first one is to consider only octaves 4 and 5 uh, in order to shorten the uh, frequency range of our implementation. And the second one is to um, assume that all musical notes will have the same duration. Uh, you might, of course, try to overcome these restrictions in your implementation, uh, particularly if you are uh, aiming for uh, an A grade. So I, I would recommend you to start by defining uh, the FSMD data path. Once you have defined the uh, data path blocks, uh, you will be able to identify the uh, outputs that have to be uh, generated by the finite state machine in the control path, uh, be it in those outputs represented in the state boxes of the ASMD chart or those in the uh, conditional output boxes. 
that is the same to say the Mur and the Mealy outputs. And uh, likewise, once you have defined the data path, you will know what uh, information is required to be sent from the data path into the control path. And that will help you to uh, decide what decision boxes are needed in the ASMB chart. So once you have an architecture, uh, you are ready to design the ASMB chart. And from there, you can move on to the VHDL description, the uh, simulation and the experimentation in the boards. And here's a proposed roadmap. As in the previous assignment, I recommend you to alternate between uh, working together and working alone uh, because both ways are important for learning. And uh, please don't forget that your deliverables comprise the same two parts as in the previous assignment. That is to say, a video presentation and the uh, Vivado project folder. So thanks for your attention and uh, enjoy your work.